I'm at 4404 Northeast 74th Avenue. Here is the house with the driveway that goes all the way back to the garage. Here is the surrounding neighborhood. Nice, well cared for homes. We've got uh, Prescott down here. So we are one, two, three, four, five, about five houses in from it. They're quite gardeners. Uh, so they've got, uh, I'm not sure what they've got on these vines here, but some of the front of the house is a bit covered up because of the vines and stuff. There's a new uh, roof. There's also a new high efficient furnace and there's a new electric water heater. So you walk up to the house. Just walking in. We've got oak floors, a wood burning fireplace, uh, a nice size living room. There are original windows. Um, we did open windows and they open a couple of them don't latch well so they would need to be adjusted this one's a fixed window uh, it's got good light in here so built-in bookcase in front of us is uh, the kitchen we've got kind of it's a vintage style kitchen with uh, some red linoleum we've got an old-school refrigerator as well as a gas range They've taken the doors off of these shelves, so we've got some open shelves and some closed shelves. Uh, no dishwasher, so we've got a pretty small kitchen that at some point would be nice to update. Maybe even open up this wall to the um, living room area, because also the really only kind of dining room space is here. Unless you did maybe a table over here after these bookshelves are gone with a leaf that drops down so it's up against the wall, and then if entertaining, pull it out. Um, so we've got one bathroom in the house. It's a decent size bathroom. We've got the original pedestal sink. We have got a tub shower combo with a tile surround. We've also got the vintage uh, linoleum on the floor and then some open shelves here. It's a two bedroom um, house. Uh, so here's one bedroom. This is the bigger of the bedrooms. This window does open again, original single pane window. It does have a screen on the outside. And then this is a fixed window. We've got long closets um, that they haven't made the best use of space of. Instead of doing a hanger that, or a, yeah, hanging that goes across the top, they've basically just kind of used the sides. And then we have a linen closet in the hallway. And we have bedroom number two which we measured, this is a queen size bed. Um, so they've basically got it up in the corner. You could have it pulled out a little bit. We tried to see if it could go against this wall, but then it's going to affect this closet door. So personally, I would use the other one as the bedroom and this one is like an office guest room with maybe a futon. Um, heat seems to be working well. Uh, it's nice and warm in here. Again, really nice light. No overhead light fixture in the living room, so they've got hanging lights here. We go through the kitchen. I'll bring you to the backyard after. Down to the unfinished basement, which has got nice stairs and a nice tall ceiling. So this would be a great space to finish. Um, we've got some updated hex plumbing and then some galvanized plumbing. Uh, we've got a little area over here. Uh, it looks like 200 amp furnace. Again, really high ceiling. Smells nice and clean and dry down here. 
they're actually using this room as their master, um, even though these are not legal egress windows, uh, and these windows seem to be painted shut. Here's a line that shows that it did used to have oil heat. Got newer duct work. Um, so ideally, uh, it would be nice to open up these windows and make these a legal egress window. You could also then earthquake retrofit before um, sheetrocking and insulating the ceiling. Um, but I would say at least eight feet tall ceilings. So great potential in this basement. And then to the backyard. So there also would be the um, possibility of adding a door in this kitchen doorway. So if the space downstairs was rented out, they could just use the door uh, from the backyard. So again, here was that driveway on the side. So this does need a fence. And then it goes back here. Nice size yard. Um, the yard actually goes back through this area. I'm not sure if someone had this separated off for a garden so pets couldn't get into it. So everything is fenced except for these two side areas, the driveway side and then that other side. And then the garage, they are using as either a bike business or a bike shop. It's a huge garage. And as you can see, there's a ton of bikes. Um, so there's a garage door, which is not on an opener, but of course there's electricity in here. Two of the walls of the garage are cement. And then this wall is wood construction. Cold in here, but you can see that it certainly is being uh, used. So it's a nice house. Um, on each level is about 800 square feet, so it's not a huge house. I see the potential for uh, kind of increase on the investment would be over time uh, updating the kitchen, potentially opening up the wall between the kitchen and the living room area, updating the bathroom, and then definitely more formally finishing the, um, the basement area.